Hello everyone and welcome back to the Full Metal Alchemist Dual Sympathy Let's Play. In the last episode, we went one-on-one -on -one with uh, Colonel Roy Mustang uh, since Al, sorry, Ed was uh, taking his exam to, to become a state alchemist, which I, he finally succeeded. So now, um, uh, we, off screen, well, yeah, pretty much off screen, uh, they did battle with uh, Scar, and because of that, Ed broke, uh, had his auto mill destroyed. If you've seen the anime, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So we have reached Resin Bowl in order to to reunite with Winry, who's pretty much a master auto mill uh, builder. And we've gone to get uh, repairs. But we didn't go alone. Joining us was none other than uh, Armstrong. No offense, everyone. I like the guy. He, he's good. But sometimes... Uh, he creeps me out sometimes. But he is strong. They don't call him the, the strong, strong arm alchemist for nothing. He is strong and he is worthy of that title. But it's something about some kind of creeps me out sometimes. So don't don't get the wrong idea. So so without further ado, let's continue on with the story. It's beautiful here and so peaceful. Yeah, it's rural. It's been four years, brother. You mean you haven't come home once? You can't really come home to a place where there's no family waiting for you. You know, you know our general situation, don't you, Major? Yes, I do. Hey, I want answers, Ed. How did you wreck the best auto mail I've ever made? Is it really my fault, though? Is it really my fault, though? It fell apart so easily. Al's armor is all busted up, too. And steel doesn't shatter on its own. You've been getting into some real trouble. Uh... No, I mean, ask Ed. Anyways, we have to build a new arm for, from scratch. Is it gonna take a while? I'd say so. I know I'm asking a lot, but can you finish it all in a week? Don't insult me, Ed. We'll finish it in three days. <laughs> You're the best there is. And now you know the reason why he creeps me out sometimes. Edward Elric. Relax and recuperate. I, Alex Louise Armstrong, will support Miss, P Miss Pinanco with all my might. Well, in that case, you can help by chopping wood. Behold, the exquisite wood chopping method passed down the Armstrong line for generations. <sighs> and looks like we have a mini game here. How to use Help Major Armstrong show his true powers by sliding by using his fist to split the uh, the, the logs. All right, so we have a total of ten logs, and I think three tries. All right, here we go. And we messed up. Gotta try again. What? Oh, I have to put it down. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, there we go. Wherever it is, we gotta put it down. And quickly. Three more to go. The wood chopping is done. 
and mini game cleared. And we got an alchemy book. You can use Armstrong's artistic transmutation technique passed down through generations. You've unlocked a mini game. Artistic wood chopping. Cool. Um, th this was this is a short short stage. You know what? Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're not even done yet. This is this was just too quick. So uh, as you can see, uh, there's auto save, so we have nothing to worry about there. So let's continue on. Once the auto mill repairs were done, we went back to Central. Using the clue Marco left us, we hurried to the library's first branch to find it destroyed. With some help from Seska, who had worked at the library, we got a copy of Dr. Marco's research journal. Seriously? Come on. You gotta type it incorrectly. Um, you know, when it comes to dialogue. When we found out the truth that can... Uh, I'm sorry. When we found out the truth contained in those notes. It's Spear. Now we go to the next stage. The truth behind truths. How can this be possible? I don't know. After all, this is the answer we get. The secret ingredient to make up a last first stone. Living humans. God must really hate people who go against him. I really thought it was going to work out, brother. We would find the Philosopher's Stone, and it would all be okay. Brother, let's look at it again, from the beginning. I've looked at it enough, but there's a chance we misread something. I said enough! Brother, is something wrong, sir? Uh, it's just a broken cup. Go back in the hall. Sorry, Al. Yeah. So, Ed, that's really the end of it? You won't regret it then? Giving up before you're finished? You don't know anything. Wrong, Ed. I know that what you, what you boys have been searching for this, for this philosopher's stone, and I know it's created by sacrificing human lives. It's pointless to chase after it now, so leave us alone. You really are a child. You're frightened that all the answers will disappear. You're terrified you might have to admit that everything you've done was was wasted effort. Am I wrong? <sighs> it's okay to feel lost and not have reasons. But verifying whether Marco's research is the truth or not is worth something in itself, if you ask me. Why don't, why don't you try searching a, a little longer, Ed? But without worries about the final result. You're right. We've had roadblocks. And we've conquered them all. I'd be damned if we, if we stopped halfway. Uh, remember in previous uh, videos, I don't swear. This is just part of the script. The character is swearing, not me. Okay? Just so we're clear. We'll take this all the way to the finish. Let's do this, Al. Right. Wow, so many cutscenes. It reminds me of uh, Xenosaga. The first game, I mean. It had a lot of cutscenes. 
According to his data, you need a massive facility to create a stone. Like a whole complex. I went to all four labs in the city, and there was, and there wasn't anything remarkable, go remarkable going on. What about this fifth lab? Oh, they closed it down years ago. It's just an abandoned building now. Hmm. That's it. Look, there's a prison next door. Sorry, I'm, I'm drinking some coffee. If possible, I'm sorry, if people are a key ingredient in a Philosopher's Stone, doesn't it make sense to put a lab in a place where you have a, where you have a, a convenient state-controlled supply? Uh, you don't mean they use the convicts? Why not? You couldn't have a cleaner plan. Take condemn could take condemned prisoners, say they are executed, then use them for experiments? Why do you... What do you say we go check it out? Ourselves, Al? Sure. Now just hold on a minute. From here out, this is a... This is grown-up's work. Besides, as long as Scar is loose, you're, walk, you're a walking target. You can't afford to stroll around Central. Yeah? So what? Let B Block and me be your eyes on the ground. We'll go to Lab Five and see if anything's out, out of the, if, see if anything's out of the ordinary. It's our duty. She has a point. All right, I clearly can't argue with you. You guys can can take care of it, sir. It's the right choice. Wow, cutscenes galore! <laughs> wow, I feel sorry for for a second, uh, Lieutenant Ross. Though, hmm, are those tripwire alarms? Yep, for an abandoned facility, the security sure is tight. Come on, L let's try the back. Right, another barricade. Sorry, <laughs> another barricade. We'll have to find a more creative way in. Hey, up there! Hmm? Alright, Al. You wait here. Will you be okay by yourself? We're not gonna get your big metal body through this vent. Sit tight. I'll be back in a bit. You know, it's not my fault I'm big. Oh, well. Damn it! This is smaller than I thought. See, if I was normal sized, I wouldn't have fit. It's really a good thing I'm so small. I. Gah! No, it's not! Alright, here we go. Lights are still on. I thought it was closed down. Alright, here we go. Okay, here we go. Gotta be careful here. Alright, let's blow this up. Looks like we can't. And thankfully, there's no time limit. Okay, let's see. Jump. Okay, that's not gonna help. Alright, so how am I gonna have to destroy this thing? Isn't there a way to go through it? Nope, guess not. Let's see if we can jump over it. Nope, we can't. Okay, n n no combos. Okay, seriously, how am I supposed to get out of here? Oh, up here? Okay, maybe not.
Okay, so cannons won't work. Alright then. Let's see if we can use Armstrong's technique. Here we go. Okay, maybe not. Alright, let's try Alphonse's technique. There we go. Well. Okay, whoa, that was close. Alright. Whoop, bats. Whoop, that was close. Okay. Trap after trap. Jeez. They must have uh, they must have something here. They really don't want to be that that they really don't want to be want to be seen. I'm getting excited. I just love being right. All right, walk to prudence. Okay. Goodness. Well, at least we're out of there. That's a good thing, and we're almost out of health. Oh, come on. Run, run, run. Ugh. Why are there's these mini games so difficult? Anyways, guide Ed through the traps in the cracks by tapping left. Sorry, I hit my mic. By, by tapping the left-right shoe icons so he can escape. If Ed can get to the to the right side of the rear screen, you'll clear the level. Ready? Start. Go, come on! Ah, oh, I failed. So I'm gonna have to put the controller down and do this again. Go, 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 come on. I'm almost there, almost there. And made it. Wow. It's because I had to put my control down so I can use the touch screen. Well, let's continue on. Looks like we're out and uh oh, number 66. If you know who this is, then you, sir, know your know your animes, sir or madam. That is number sixty-six, Barry the Chopper. <laughs> you move so well for a big thing. Who are you? I'm number sixty-six, though that's just what they call me at work. Numbers, number 66? This'll be fun! <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got, our, we got ourselves a battle here. Gotcha! Ah, come on, Al. You got this, you got this. Ow! Yeah, that's the other thing. With some beat em ups you can block, some beat em ups you can't block. Ah. Come on, almost there, almost there. Let's blast them. Okay, we didn't get him. Come on now, just hold on. Almost there. Got him. 
I think. Phew. Uh oh, we got another problem here. Graciously do I welcome you here. I have been entrusted with guarding these grounds. For now, you may call me number 48. 48? Catchy. I'm pleased to, to face someone capable again. But your luck has run out. Running into me. Do not think ill of me, child. Heh. <laughs> now, let's see how good you are. I forgot what, what his real name is, so... I apologize. Uh oh, this cannot be good. Let's see, let's try Mustang. Okay, that didn't work. Um, is it this one? Oh wow, our first, our first fail. Let's hope he doesn't. We don't have to. Yes, we're okay. That's good. Oh, here we go. here. Gotcha. Looks like this is the only way to, to beat number 48. Gotta hit him from behind. However, let's go back to Edwards. Stuff. Over here. Wait to wait for him to pick up his head. Okay, just wait for him to come at you. Uh-oh. Well, at least we we struck him. Let's increase the volume just a tiny bit. Yeah, he'll definitely c come after uh, the metal. And as I said, thankfully there there's no uh, no t t time limit, which is good. Oh, looks like I can I can try the combo. I thought it was just one hit, and then just wait for him to. He's gonna just go straight right there and oh, that was close. Okay, let's, let's continue on. Oh, that was close. Ouch! Wait for him. Okay. for him because he really does go after I think it was they because uh, two people inhabit the, uh, uh, two people I inhabit that that armor if I remember correctly almost almost 
Okay. Oh dear. He has to get that get the head. Alright, there we go. And he's down. Okay, let's continue on. Looks like this level's far from over. Hmm. Careful here. Oh, it's this room again. Well, this, uh, oh, looks like I have to jump over that. Ow. Ow. <laughs> That's two fails right there. Okay. Looks like I don't have a choice, but... Oh, oh dear. Ow. Ah. Uh. Ah, <laughs> come on. I keep getting hurt. Uh, wow. This is not an easy level. Okay, so we I can't attack the barrels. Okay, maybe I can. Okay. Whew, that was close. one enemy down. Here comes number two. This must be, uh, this must have been a very long part. But I don't mind that. Just gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Stage clear. Finally. Wow. Is that Shell Tucker? It is! It's been a long time, Edward. But how? The military said you were executed. Nina, your daughter, is dead because of what you did! How could they allow you to live? I'm living for Nina. I understand how you must feel right now, Edward. That guard had his soul attached to a suit of armor. You can't do that with without typical alchemy, and you've changed it to a chimera. But you've kept all your intelligence. What alchemist has that kind of skill? Answer me, Tucker. Who the hell's your? Oh, sorry. Who the hell's running this place? Please don't look at her, Ed. She's she's extremely bashful. Nina? She's not yet able to keep her form, 
when she's exposed to, open, to the open air. You still can't find a way to perform a human transmutation, so you've created a chimera that looks like her? Is that it? I tried and failed many times, and in the end, I wound up in this form. But I'm... I'm almost there. You mean it's possible? That's the same stuff that Marco had. This is the incomplete Philosopher's Stone. If this amount of unfinished material could be carefully refined, you could make a true Philosopher's Stone. Many have tried, but no one has ever succeeded before. It's an, it's an impossible task for any ordinary alchemist. But you see, I'm no ordinary alchemist. You could use them to form a complete Philosopher's Stone. Does that mean you know these fragments were made? Does it honestly matter anymore? Even if they were in fact created using living human beings, are you capable of restoring them back to life? <sighs> using what's left of them to make a complete stone is the only way to give their sacrifices meaning. Their lives have no value in this disembodied state. No value? I don't buy that. But Al, your life has value, right? Even combined, there's not enough pieces of the stone in this room alone. In Dr. Markle's research journal, he recommended using two transmutation circles. I'll take all the materials from above and collide them with these fragments. An array with the heptagon. Circum... Uh, uh, circumscribed in it. I've never seen that before. Sorry, like I said, there are some words that I can't pronounce. I've never seen befo that before. Neither have I. If this theory of mine actually pans out, I'll give Al his body back and we'll get the heck out of there. Sorry, I I'd rather just... Avoid uh, swear words, even though it's the character that, that swears. Then you people can do whatever you want with it. Very generous of you, Edward. What are they doing here? If I performed that transmutation w without knowing, I would have. <laughs> Too bad. He was so close. I've seen you. If you don't want to suffer any more physical punishment, then I suggest you get on with the transmutation. We've had a minor unexpected setback, but the ingredients are still fresh. Using these convicts to make a philosopher's stone? I think you have no choice in the matter, Edward. What? Ow! Brother! These people, they're homunculi. Homunculi? I'm embarrassed to admit it, but our group is incapable of using alchemy on our own. <laughs> Given our limitations, all we can do was leave a trail of breadcrumbs pointing towards the stone and advise some eager alchemists. When Marco was working here in this lab, you must have told them about the secret ingredient. Yes. Not to mention Cornello's fake stone, which I guess you were behind you were behind too. We laid the fake beat, and sure enough, every alchemist interested in the stone came flocking. And that's the way we found you boys. Are you saying that me coming here was part of your plan all along? No, Al and I started this journey three years ago. For our own reasons, of our own free will. You're here because that is what we wanted. Al and I are nobody's puppets. It's an equivalent exchange. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know 
to make a Philosopher's Stone. And in return, you are going to use it to turn all of us into humans. And why the heck should I trust you guys? We're not asking. We're telling. Do you have any idea what will happen to an attached soul when you do this? No! Please don't hurt him! He's my little brother! I'm begging you! Ed, it's okay. Don't give up on me, Al, okay? Quit doing this, brother! I don't want my old body back if it means having to take someone else's life. I promised that I'd get your body back. No matter what. Sorry, Al. I just can't do it. Full Metal Alchemist. Scar, why are you here? Take your brother and get out of here. I don't need your help. Maybe not, but your younger brother needs you. That's not good. Even though it's unrefined, this much exposure to the stone's material could turn the boy into a god. Full Metal, sir! The boy's alchemic power is multiplying rapidly. Lieutenant, wait! Mom, you're back? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of, of speaking. A lot of cutscenes. You've unlocked a minigame. How far can you escape the trap? After escaping from the fifth research laboratory, my brother and I decided to search for a means of returning our bodies to normal that didn't hurt others. Accompanied by Winry, we headed for Rush Valley. Finally! Oh, wow, this must have been a very long part. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, take care, and God bless.